Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're creating stickers or decals in Octane for Cinema 4D. Okay, so this is a new lesson from our Octane Materials Masterclass. If you're interested in learning pretty much all there is to know about materials in Octane, you can check out the full course here on our website. We're always adding new content and we've also just uploaded 50 new materials to the Octane Material Library that comes with the course. So check it out if you're interested, but for now, let's head into Cinema 4D and Octane and see if we can make some stickers. So we'll start things off with our bottle 3D model here and we wanna make some stickers or labels to go onto the glass. So over in our Octane node editor, we need a material for our stickers. So we'll bring in an Octane material node. Then we can change the material type to glossy so our labels can be a bit shiny. And now we need to apply our new material to our bottle. So we'll grab it down here and put it over on the glass geometry. And we might need to refresh the live viewer to see that change. Okay, here's our new glossy material over the top of our glass material. So now we can import our sticker texture maps. So I'll make a bit of space in here and we need an image texture node whenever we bring textures into Octane. So we'll plonk him in here and connect it up to the diffuse channel of our material. And obviously it's gone black because we need to go into here and choose an image. So we'll grab our sticker PNG here, which as a PNG file can also have an alpha channel. And that's wrapping itself all over our bottle at first, which is not quite what we want. So we need to adjust the positioning and the scale of our label on the surface of our bottle. And we do that with a UV transform node. And we've got this little shortcut button to connect one of those up right here. And there it is. So we'll start by scaling the texture down with the scale controls here. And it looks like it's around the wrong way. And we also don't want the label tiling like this. So let's fix that first. If we grab the image texture itself, you'll see that the border mode is set to wrap around, which means it'll keep tiling the image forever. But if we change this to black color, everything outside the bounds of our image turns to black. So we just have the one label now, and we'll mask out that black to reveal the bottle again very shortly. But first I want to reposition this guy down here. So maybe it's best if we rotate it around the right way first. So that should be the Z axis of our rotation controls here. Let's make that 90 degrees, which does put it around the right way, but it's also looking a bit squished. So we need to scale it up horizontally. So to adjust one of these individually, we need to unlock the aspect ratio. And we'll just put a few values in here. I already know should work for this particular image. And this is a 2D texture, so the Z axis won't do anything anyway. Then we'll lock these sliders back together so we can scale it uniformly again if we need to. Then to move this down to the bottom part of the bottle, we can adjust the Y axis in the transform controls here. And maybe we'll rotate the label around to the left with the X axis. And I think I'm pretty happy with the positioning of the label now. So let's get rid of the extra black space around the label. And we can do that with the opacity channel here. So we wanna access the alpha channel from our PNG image. And the best way to do that is to grab it and holding control, we can drag out a copy, which defaults back to its original position and rotation. So we need to plug that transform into our copy as well. And now we can use this copy to drive our opacity channel. And right now it's actually using the color information in our image as the opacity, which is why it's looking a bit funny over here. So we just need to make sure we tell it under the type section here, not to look at the image itself, but to use the alpha channel instead. And we might need to refresh again. And there we go, that label is successfully applied, but let's be a bit fancy and layer on a second sticker. And we can actually reuse this setup for as many labels as we want. So to keep things nice and organized, we'll rename this material. Let's call it main label. And we can duplicate this shader by again holding control and dragging it out to create a copy. And we'll select our new one and rename that as well. Let's call this one top label because we'll use it to create another sticker on the neck of our bottle. And I've got a smaller label image on my hard drive. So we'll go in here and switch that out and sticker top is the one we want. Okay, 
And it looks like we've accidentally collapsed that. We can pop that thumbnail out again with this little arrow, like so. And we need to make the alpha channel set up, point to that new image as well. So same deal, we'll bring that in again. So now all we need to do is position it. But it probably would help if we apply this new material to our object first. So we'll grab that and place it onto our glass geometry. And it'll appear at the end of our stack of materials here. And again, it looks like we might need to refresh the live viewer. And our new label is appearing over the first label because the transform node is set to the exact same spot because we duplicated it. So all we need to do is grab that and adjust these controls until we can get it into the right place. Let's unlock the aspect ratio. And we don't wanna rotate this, so we'll zero that out. And I've got some scale values I'll just plug into here. And if we don't see a change, we just need to refresh again. Okay, so that's about the right size and rotation. So all that remains is to move it onto the neck of our bottle. And we can do that with the Y axis transform control. And it looks like we'll need to refresh that once more. And now we've successfully applied stickers or decals to our model. And it's super easy to do in Octane. So that's it for this tutorial. If you're one of our Octane Materials Masterclass students, you'll have access to this project and a load of other Octane related goodies, including that material library of 100 Octane materials. We'll also be releasing a huge new Octane course all about lighting and rendering very soon. So keep an eye out for that. And there's also some cool Halloween tutorials for Cinema 4D and Houdini coming up this month. So stay tuned. And don't forget, you can win some epic CG prizes in our horror challenge. If you can get your horror artwork submitted before the 25th of October. And you can get all the details for that at cgshortcuts.com forward slash horror. Big thanks to this month's patrons. You guys are absolute legends and there's no way we could make all of these tutorials without your support. Cheers, guys. That's it for now. Just a short one this week. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section down below, or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. There's loads of extra resources on our website and you can win epic CG prizes in our monthly challenges. Check out cgshortcuts.com for more details. Catch you next time.